Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be giving my honest review on this Aura Lightweight Compact Stroller by Venture. This video is not sponsored and I purchased this on my own. I'll show you the stroller in more detail but first I'll just show you how it arrived in the box. So, sorry my tummy's trying to climb into the box. Yes, we haven't opened the box yet. Let's show everyone what the box looks like. Just, you know, your standard box. As you can see it says about <laughs> smaller than my toddler's height actually, he's two years old. You want to see what's inside, don't you? So that's what it looks like, the box. Oh, now that? let's open up and see how they package it. We've got scissors. So my toddler, he's two years and a bit, two years and three months, yeah. but he still needs a towel. Oh, I thought he did it some months ago, but he still is using his towel. That's what it looks like. So, oh, that's part of your sunshade. You've just pulled out. All right, how do I get this out? Right, I'm going to put it onto the floor like this. Sorry about the filming, everyone. It's um, my toddler's here. No, let's not make excuses. Let's not make excuses for my shabby filming. <laughs> right, okay, oh, it's heavier than I expected so far. Right, oh no, it's heavier, but it's, um, oh, it hasn't got its wheels on. So that's what it looks like. Um. <clears throat> My toddler's now playing on the box with his bus. So it's only arrived with one of the wheels on. Oh, oh hang on, there's something in the bottom there. What's this? It is a cup holder. Oh, I'm so excited about that because I really love to have a coffee when I'm out and about. And all my other prams that I had before, I had the bugaboo and I had joy nitro and i had a i think it was the oyster one none of them had a cup holder so okay so this is what it looks like i've just taken the foam bit off uh like i said when i was pulling out of the box it's a lot heavier than i expected there's not actually that many videos on this pram online so hopefully mine can help others um assembly one two unfold the stroller by pressing the two buttons located on the handlebar. Then slowly lift the handle upwards to unfold. Right. La, 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 la. Okay, so here's the handlebar. There we go, yeah, it's easy now. Oh, whoa, well, that was easy. Oh yeah, I was thinking, why is it so like, not right? Because I've got to have a wheels on. <laughs> that just clicks really easily in. If I think it's got the brake on. Yeah, it did. I was going to say, it's not that stiff. Oh, wow, that is so smooth. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go out for a walk to our local shops and I'll get some footage outside, tell you what it's like using it straight away. So far, as I said, it's heavier than I thought, um, but it's really sturdy. I mean, well, wow, going from the Joy Nitro to like back to one of these um, more sturdier prams, you can really notice the difference. The finishings are beautiful. Because the lighting's not brilliant, I'm not sure you can really see, but this handlebar is really looks so luxurious. And the hood as well, that was a major thing I wanted because on my Joy Nitro, the last stroller that I had, it didn't have a proper sun hood. Um, my poor toddler, he was always getting the sun in his eyes and I tried to kind of makeshift a sun protection thing and that didn't really work. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll get out and about now and show you what it's like outside. Okay, so here it is outside. First thing to note is the wheels have already picked up dirt. We've literally been walking less than five minutes. And unfortunately, they're already a bit scuffed there and dirty, which is a shame because that part looks so nice. Um, another thing is it wasn't that easy to get it out of the house. Um, there's like a slight step in my doorway and that wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be. So far, it's definitely a smooth push. But you may notice my hand and the hood here, there's not like a sufficient enough gap to push it without um, <clears throat> your hand kind of knocking against the hood. You can probably see the details a bit better outside, how lovely the finishing is. And the handle is very sturdy, I'm happy with it. Also, this is really sturdy, the cup holder. You have to push it down and it's like really secure. So I don't feel like there's going to be any spillages there. Um, it's really secure. 
the basket space is really big as well i was surprised by how big it is however we're gonna see in a minute when we get some groceries if it will stay in there securely because at the front it's not like closed if that makes sense it's open so i imagine some things could slide out the front if it was the tip or something i don't know but yeah that is my little toddler he's really happy and i've got to sort the straps out as well they're still a bit they're still a bit big the straps and i haven't worked out how to well i have it's just this is really stiff and i want to get to the shop before it um starts to rain but um yeah pushing it i'm able to push it one-handed which is amazing Mama. because yes mommy's just filming when i had my joy night try i had to use both um like two handles this is more of a one-handed push although i'm still having to make sure around Mama. bends and things that i'm holding Mama. it with two hands yes um so yeah what else can i say i mentioned the wheels they get a bit dirty they got a bit dirty already um here's the brake quite easy but it's a little bit is it a little bit stiff no it's okay could be easier this feels very similar to the bugaboo ant i did have that over a year ago um, and i sold it it was very expensive but this for the price actually feels so similar to the bugaboo ant and what i love about this one is this bar i really always wanted a pram or a stroller with one of these bars on the front because then my toddler he's able to hold on to it and look out and explore a bit more if that makes sense 4149 i think it was this is a really good deal because like i said it's really similar to the bugaboo ant and the bugaboo ant costs hundreds and this is just over a hundred and it's really good quality like um just that slight little thing that kind of niggled me a bit is this um <clears throat> Head. it's so close to the handle when it's folded in when it's folded out which is no point for it now because it's cloudy there'll be plenty of space between myself yeah. holding it and the thing uh, the hood and as you can see it's got a lovely little bit here but when you fold it back in then you've got this issue here Sorry, I meant the road. You've got the issue here of it being basically touching the handlebar. Um, but also the hood is so big, I'm really chuffed with that. And I think when it does get sunny, that's going to be enough coverage. One thing about this I really want to show you and talk to you about if my little toddler lets me is this harness part here because the reason his last Joy Nitro stroller was such um, a disaster, so to speak, was because this part was really tight and it was basically digging into his leg and then causing nappy leaks so yeah, that wasn't good and it must have been uncomfortable for him but this one it's got a padded bit which is really nice and also you can extend it a bit more i think with only obviously just yeah you can extend it a tiny bit more so that's exactly what i wanted this part is also magnetic just got to sort these out because at the moment he's got one strap falling down so Hopefully they stay in place, but that's not a huge thing. I think they will be okay. But so far the harness is so much better than my previous Joy Nitro stroller. So I'm just doing one hand and push at the moment. But it's really smooth. My toddler seems very relaxed in it. So, so far, pretty much 10 out of 10 minus this handle thing here the hood being too close to the handle also this has suspension i can definitely notice that because my last pram didn't and um yeah you definitely notice that it's good i guess it's a good thing um i don't know but yeah definitely you can definitely feel it it's a bit more like bouncier springier when you push it so i managed to get the bag under the pram however i had to turn it and put it like um what's horizontal or I don't know I would have liked to have it the other way but I've had to kind of put it in that way just to make sure that it's secure and then at the front it hasn't it kind of dips down so it hasn't come over the front part which is good so it's secure in there but it's um a little bit tricky to put the <clears throat> bag in the bottom there so here it is 
sorry, it's not really the best backdrop to show you yet, but um, yeah, I haven't worked out how to put this down and up yet. Is there a button? Um, I'm not sure. Is there a button here? Oh yeah, there's a button. There's a button here on either side, so you can have it like flat. Although I think it's better and more supportive with it like up. And my little two-year-old, he's got his bottle of milk there. He is actually like past the stage of bringing a bottle of milk out with him, but um, we don't normally come out this late to the shops and he was looking a bit sleepy, so I thought he might ask for it because he still does have a bit of milk when he has a nap, but like, if we go out early in the morning, he doesn't really need a bottle. Um, he can just have snacks and things in the town, wherever we are, the shops. Um, he hasn't actually drunk much of that, so I did actually put a little cake that he got in the shop in here. Should I take it back? Um, As for the pockets on the back, I was just trying to look at it and I somehow managed to unzip it before I even managed to actually look at it and see how big it was. But it is a nice addition, but I haven't been able to work that out yet. I probably won't use it, um, although saying that I might do. It's got this toggle thing as well. I'm not sure what that's for. Here's the pocket. Um, sorry, my toddler wants to go home. He's not a happy bunny. But um, yeah, that's just another little feature of it. So my toddler's fallen asleep. And I've reclined him back. Somehow I've made some kind of a gap here when I was trying to figure out the pocket. Um, doesn't matter, I'll sort that out later. We're nearly home anyway. Um... But yeah, it was very easy to recline back. I really love this feature where you can see into the pram because I noticed the difference with this pram compared to my last one. It feels like I can't really see my toddler as well um, with like such a lot of fabric with the hood. But this allows me to still see him whilst pushing him and I really do appreciate that feature. Thank you so much for watching. This has been just a short review of this pram. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Take care and bye for now.